is the one I was going to use. Maybe. Okay. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Let me move this over so I can see the comments. Uh, hi, Fran and Marty and Wanda. Thank you for sharing. If you shared it, <clears throat> you don't have to write shared because I pull things from a different way when I look at stuff like that. However, I really do appreciate you sharing. And I'm going to explain one other thing to you real quick. Um, Stephanie and Terry, thank you all for joining. Hi, Lisa. It's snow. It feels snowy here, but not snowy. Judy from Arkansas. Hi, Judy. I have lots of relatives in Arkansas. Rhonda and Trudy, Mary, Christina, Virginia here. Woo -woo. So good morning, everyone. I still do have a cough and a froggy throat, so please apologize. I've got a pile of cough drops and a big cup of water. But what I wanted to do was, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys all for leaving comments yesterday. I think yesterday was my most commented post ever, and it was about <laughs> Facebook being Facebook. That's about the best I could say. However, I want to tell you one other thing. I was going to pull um, winners. I did pull winners for the Facebook comment thing. And what I'm going to do is I have some rolls of DS, um, not rolls of DSP. What the heck? I have some rolls of ribbon that I'm going to give away. So I have three winners for that. But... If you guys haven't checked this out, I did a One Sheet Wonder video over on YouTube with all these cards. And I was going to pick a winner because I said when I drew this that I was going to give away all the DSP that I had cut. And there's no comments. So you guys, when you're finished watching this today, make sure you head over to my YouTube channel, which is also Rach the Stamper. You can see all these cool cards I made, Valentine's cards. There's 13 of them. And technically, if you look at the... um the blog post, which is reachthestamper.com, you will actually see a way to make 14 if you needed 14 cards, which is coincidentally very convenient for Valentine's Day. But there's no comments. So I have to give away this DSP that I already cut. So when you guys are done, head over there and leave a comment. That way I can pick someone. But in the meantime, I picked three winners to win uh, rolls of ribbon. And again, my printer... I just got a new printer, and it's not printing already. It's not cooperating. It's driving me bonkers. But anyway, Janice Morgan was winner number one. Gail Smith was winner number two. And I went for a third, and that was Rebecca Lynn Riley. So Janice, Gail, and Rebecca, or if you're friends with them, if you could tag them in this post, um, what you have to do is I have a... Um, on my blog, which is reachthestamper.com, I have a info sheet. So if you go to I1, 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 there's a little form that you'll click. So you click on that post and you click on that form and it'll have you fill out the information. That way I can mail it to you without sending your email via 50,000 different ways. So anyway, it's a little form you fill out and then I will roll, uh, send you all your roll of ribbon. Um, and I have some really good ones that are retired. So... I have some really, really cute ones, and I've kind of been, if you guys saw my post the other day with my ribbon, I've been kind of trying to get rid of some stuff so I can make room for some new things. So congratulations to you three ladies again, Janice Morgan, Gail Smith, and Rebecca Lynn Riley. So um, those are the winners for the Facebook thing. So make sure when we're finished today, if you have some time, sometime through the day, head over to the uh, One Sheet Wonder Valentine post on YouTube and leave a comment. And then I'll pick the winner for that um, next week. I'll give you a week. That way you have some time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a technique that I saw that was called, what did they call it? It's like masking with vignette color. So I kind of did a tester yesterday and I think the colors I picked were a little dark. But basically what you're supposed to do is it's supposed to be lighter in the center and then kind of darker around the edges. So I just did it with three colors. This one I think is a, almost a little too much. And then when I stamp my image on it, I 
moved it so it's a little blurry but still pretty cool you could definitely use this for background but for this one what I did was I used Highland Heather um, gorgeous grape and blackberry bliss but today when I was you know I very rarely practice things ahead of time but I, when I was I dropped the rainbow stamper off at school and I went to the grocery store and I was thinking oh my gosh you know what I should pull out my gigantic bottle of glycerin because it will help me to blend these a little nicer. So we're going to try this. We're going to do a little bit of this adding, adding it in and see if it gives us a little better of a blend. And um, so anyway, we'll, we'll give this a shot. Does anybody have a preference on a color scheme? So you kind of have to go with like I did purple already. So we can make this into something since I already did it. But so we'll finish this one up. But we could do like um, like Coastal Cabana and Pool Party in Bermuda Bay. We could do pinks. We could do oranges. We could probably do greens. You could do this with anything, which is really cool. You just kind of need three tones that are in the similar family. Blue. Okay. Oh my gosh. And by the way, I'm just seeing people chit chat here. Blue. I see blue a lot. You asked your husband to add 10 foot to your room so you could get more. <laughs> That's hilarious. So another thing, too, if you guys haven't seen, I know a lot of you guys were on there yesterday. But um, Donna, who I'm not sure if she's on here yet this morning. Um, Donna was shared yesterday on Facebook that Dina Rico had an absolutely hilarious Facebook Live yesterday. So I did watch it before I went to bed. And I will say that was funny. So I don't know if any of you guys caught that. <laughs> excuse after excuse with the roof line, right? That's funny. Maybe you should just bump out into a different room. Is there like a, a closet you can take out in the next room? <laughs> Yellow, orange, red. All right. Well, it looks like so far we're overwhelming blue. I got this humongous bottle of glycerin from Amazon. Not realizing this is enough to last me like 50 lifetimes. If we were all closer, we could do a uh, glycerin product share. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> so if you guys didn't miss... If you missed Dina, you have to go back and watch yesterday. It was really funny. And she made three awesome cards. And also, one other thing I learned while I was watching, which I didn't pay attention to, is that the black foil paper is carrying over. I totally, I don't even know how I missed that because I love that black foil paper. That was like a Halloween thing. But anyway, black foil paper carried over. So if you missed it, get on there. Donna, we were just talking about you with sharing a... Uh, Dina's Facebook Live, which was hilarious. So thank you for reminding me. Your kitchen. That's okay. You don't need to cook, Fran. That makes more of an excuse for you to get pizza, right? <laughs> All right, let me scoot this over real quick because there's something here. There you go. It's being goofy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to do our blends. And we're going to do blue since blue was winning. And what I'm going to do is, all right, I'm going to try starting out with balmy blue and I don't want it to go too dark. So I'm going to do balmy blue and Pacific Point and blueberry bushel. So we'll do these three blues. And then so you can see it's kind of like a light, a medium, and a darker shade. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, she was, she was something yesterday. And let me see. I know somebody else said on here, yellow, orange, and red, and pinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, we're going to do three. So we're going to do three, and if we may not make three cards, but we'll at least blend three because we have time. So what we'll do is pink. I know everybody said pink. So we'll do petal pink, flirty flamingo, and melon mambo. Let me see. Might want to have to switch out with. Yeah, I'm going to go to lipstick. So we're going to do, these will be our pinks. Let me put this back. So... There's three three colors, Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, Lovely Lipstick. And then somebody else said one that was like red, yellow, orange, and red. All right, and we'll do that too. So we'll make at least three, but we may not make them all into cards. I might make them after the fact. So for yellows, I'm going to do Daffodil Delight. No. Yes, I'm going to do Daffodil Delight because sometimes So Saffron is super duper light. And then we'll do Mango Melody. And instead of red, 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 I'm going to do Poppy Parade. So we'll do these three. So we're going to do three. So let me make sure I have three pieces of paper. Yep. All right. So I have three. And I'm just doing this on regular Whisper White. So one, two, 
three regular whisper white and then we'll figure out after the fact what we're going to do with it but this card so this is like one of the things this year stamping up talked about was like simple stamping so just inks whatever so this is really simple because all this is is inks and then i have like a stamp to add a little detail actually where i saw this this was a technique that somebody used they said like five years ago this was popular. And you know, I always say everything that's old is new again because that's the way the world works. So what I did was with this is actually outline the edge. And I did use my T-square ruler. I outlined it with um, the dark Blackberry Bliss just to give like that edge to it. And then all you have to do is just stamp a little greeting here at the bottom. So we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do with the other ones. I'm not 100% sure yet, but... We'll go along and see what this looks like. But again, we are going to add in glycerin, which should make the blending part a little smoother. So what we have to do first, let me move these out of the way. What we have to do first is we kind of have to draw a little bit of lining on here. And what I did yesterday, I just drew a line and it happened to be about an inch. Because you do want it to be um, a little bit wide so it kind of fills in that white space. So I'm going to just go across... And let me see. I don't know. Was that? That's not even straight, Rachel. She's a whiz. Hold on. Let me back up here. I love these pencils, but the erasers are crazy because they get stuck in there so deep that you have to dig them out. All right. Oh, no. And I already got nail polish on it. So let's just flip that over and start again. That's what happens when you pick dark color polish, right? <laughs> So let's see if I can make this a little more square. And it doesn't need to be dark. It could be light. But for some reason, when I do these mechanical pencils, they end up being darker. So that's about, it's a little over an inch. So it's an inch and two eighths. So I'm just going to come over here and kind of make myself a little pencil mark. And see if I can make it line up. We'll see. Sometimes miracles happen. All right, so that's good enough. So we'll do that. This one, I'm gonna do a little bit wider. Make sure that's square. This one is probably only about three quarters. Yeah, three quarters of an inch about. So that approximately right there. And you don't have to do a ruler. This is just, you know, you can be as particular or not so there will be number two and we'll just do one let me see I'm gonna measure this one I'm gonna do an inch so we'll do an inch and should be four and an inch right here okay so once again just doing my pencil line so I'll do this all that way it's all ready to go tomorrow is <clears throat> my niece the slightly sideways stamper's birthday. So I have to make her her birthday card later today. I'm gonna kind of keep this handy because I did go over this with the um, stamp and blend when I put it in there. And again, you will notice there is ink on here. You can wipe this off with a baby wipe while it's wet. Probably an alcohol wipe as well if you wanted to, but hasn't seemed to affect anything otherwise. All right, so what we'll do first is we're gonna do the blues. So we have I think with the blues, I'm going to use the biggest one because that way it'll give us a little bit more room for kind of moving things around. <coughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, a bottle of glycerin. Yeah, you should. It's awesome. Glycerin really makes things blend super duper well. Yeah, I have a ton of shaving cream too from when we did that shaving cream technique. You know, it should. You're absolutely right. It should twist, but it doesn't. I can't get it to twist out because it seems like it would because it's twisty but it won't stay up because when you erase it just scoots back in there isn't that the stupidest thing you've ever seen um facebook don't worry about it i already picked the name we're good oh my gosh you guys i think that is probably the most popular post i have ever 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 had on facebook which is just hilarious so thanks for all the comments because you really got me up there in the search bar i'm sure however that was <laughs> But um, we're going to do the blue first. I'm going to put these so I don't make a big mess. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I got out a pretty large block. And in order to do this, you do need sponges. 
So I have a whole bunch of sponges. Some of them are clean. Some of them clearly don't look clean, but they should be clean. But I guess we'll find out once we start blending. So you might want to start out with your clean sponges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the block and I'm just going to press it on here to get some ink. So this would be a good day if you have your baby wipes to uh, have them handy. That way you can, whoops, well that was stupid. You can wipe your block off and do it again. All right. Probably should have done this. This would be a great use for your spots too because it's going to get blended so we'll we'll be okay. You could do your spots too. All right, so that's kind of balmy blue. What I might do is I'm going to put a little bit more balmy blue over here, kind of up, so it's lighter. All right, then what I'm going to do, so again, those three colors, balmy blue, Pacific Point, and blueberry bushel. That'll be our first one. And then I'm going to just take my glycerin. And you could do this ahead of time. You certainly don't have to do it now. I'm just going to pour a little bit. Oop. All right, there's three-ish drops. And this mat underneath is a wipe clean mat, so that's good. Yeah, glycerin does. It really, really makes the sponge glide super smooth. So one other thing I almost just skipped there. You do have to have some sort of a mask. So I'm going to just put some post-its here. Kind of overlapping. And you don't, you can put them so they stick to your, your, uh, whatever work surface you're using. You can also use post-it tape which is super amazing if you've never seen it. I'm going to put that. Whoops, that's not lined up. Hold on. Post-it tape is really nice, too, if you've never used it. Actually, I have some. comes on a roll. Just like this. And you can just pull pieces off. So I'll put this on the bottom. That is, like, just barely big enough. Okay, so post-its or post-it tape, whatever you want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my center. So I'm going to dip in the glycerin first, and then I'm going to dip in that ink. And then the other thing is, if you have a work surface, if you have paper or whatever it is that you may have, you can, you can, you can kind of blend it off here so you can see what it'll look like on your paper. But we're going to blend it really gently. Oh, this already looks worlds better than yesterday's. So the glycerin was a super good driving home from the grocery store idea. So there's going to be one. And you can go from this same one to the darker. So I'm going to do that for the second one. So I'm going to dip again in the glycerin. And then I'm going into the Pacific Point. And I probably have a little bit of that balmy blue in there as well. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to kind of stamp off here just to get a little of the ink off. Now you're going to want to go a little bit more to the side. So I'm going to kind of bring this in a little bit. And I'm trying my best to resist. I feel a coughing fit coming on. I'm going to stop talking for a minute. I'm going to get a little bit more ink over here. Mm, this looks so much better than the one I did yesterday. Okay, so finally into the, uh, I'm just re-dipping again in the glycerin and into the blueberry bushel. And this one you kind of want to go more on like the corners. So I'm going to start on the corner. Wow, blends so awesome. You have to get some glycerin if you don't have it. I'm going to go a little bit to the edge, just a little. Heavy on the corner. Let me see. Uh, where is my, I don't want to add this. I'm going to just wipe the edge of this off because I want a little bit more blueberry. I don't think the glycerin probably has any effect on it, but just for the heck of it, since it's pretty gooped up. I'll just dip a little bit more. So I want just the edges to be darker. Okay, 
So there's that. Now, I'm going to wipe this off. This is just one of those, uh, you can get like 50 million of these in one of those bags from Costco or the auto store. But it's like one of those, what do you even call these? It's like a chamois kind of thing. It's a no lint towel. Okay. Shouldn't have left that on there. So I'm going to sit this over here so it's out of the way. I'm going to kind of pick this up, wipe this whole situation off. And then before I'm done, I'm going to add in something in the blueberry bushel. Okay, so I have my pad open. <coughs> mm, excuse me. <coughs> mm, I'm going to add in this. So I have just these random little shells and whatnot. And I'm not going to do over the whole thing. Just have part of it. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my towel and kind of wipe the edges off a little bit. Because I kind of just want like little bits of it to appear. There you go. Just like that. Same thing. I'm just wiping off some of the ink. So it kind of has like a highlighted look to it. If that makes sense. Um, I'll just add a little bit more down there. That's good. So this right now, I'm going to leave alone. Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to set this somewhere to dry. All right, give me one sec. Moving on. Where it is? Here it is. I just went and cleaned all my sponges. I couldn't remember what I did with them. <coughs> you know what I could really use is a mute button. That way I could have this coughing fit without you guys having to listen to it. That's what I should ask Facebook for. A temporary mute button would also come in super handy when I do something really extra stupid and <coughs> I can curse without having to bleep out the video <laughs> okay so for the next one I'm gonna use this little flourish from beauty abounds we're gonna do the pink one okay so mind you remember I did not add the ink line to this yet okay so let me put where does this go? This here. Alright, so same thing again. Now we're going to do some, we're going to start with Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, and Lovely Lipstick. <coughs> Hello, Joelle from France. Bonjour. Belle from Beauty and the Beast taught me that. <laughs> yeah, I bet, right? They wish... Wish you had a mute button. I'm sure everyone here is tired of me coughing as well, so I understand. All right, same thing again. I'm just going to put a little glycerin in here. That's probably a little more than I needed, but that's okay. All right. And this one, I'm going to go with the middle wide one. So again, I have a clean sponge. So I'm going to dip into the glycerin first. First, I'm going to Petal Pink, then Flirty Flamingo, then Lovely Lipstick. Oh, forgot my masking. Where's my tape? Man. I got fingernail polish on this one, too. But, that's okay. Oh, that might be ink. Yeah, this is one where you do have to be careful. Plus, you don't want to get too crazy with your... Uh, you're blending since this tape that I have is only an inch wide. So, okay, so we're gonna go in the center. Mm, so it has a fuzzy in it. So the petal pink is super, super, super light. Then I'm gonna get flirty flamingo. And last, 
lovely lipstick. This, again, I'm just going to try to stick more to the corners. I think I just found my Valentine's blog hop project idea. So whoever suggested the pink, thank you. We do have a Valentine's blog hop coming up this Saturday at 10 a.m. You can get started on RachTheStamper.com. And there's usually at least 10, 10 to 12 people. Okay, so I want to, I'm going to, this is the one I used. I'm going to use a clean one to kind of blend off a little bit. <coughs> there you go, just to make it a little lighter. That's a little more... <coughs> Excuse me. This is very. This reminds me very much of uh, of Dina's card, in a different sense. But I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the pink here. <coughs> oh my gosh! I am so sorry. It's not really my throat. It's more my lungs. I have asthma. Whenever I get a cold always goes straight to my chest and it's very hard to get rid of which is super annoying so I'm really sorry okay I'm gonna do the same thing here but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you a little bit different I'm gonna pick up the ink <clears throat> with the sponge and I'm just gonna put it in the center okay there we go that looks cool So again, you can wipe this off in between if you want. Okay, so just like that. So that's going to be our card. I'm going to close this up. Clean this off. This one has a lot of nice sentiments too that we can put on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one up. One more time, wipe that off. So I'm gonna set this on the side. And now we're gonna do the one kind of sounds more like a, a sunrisey. I'm gonna go back to the post-its for this one. <coughs> this one has a smudge. Dang it. Let me see if I can get this off. Nope. Okay, well, this one we'll have to work on. I have to put my sentiment or something over there to hide that one. So same thing again. I'm just going to post it. And then whenever I get in these coughing fits, it makes my nose run. I think that's like a... I don't want to say an embarrassment thing, but you know what I mean? Like a something you can't control with your nervousness. Ugh. And the colds, it just, it's like it just lasts in your chest forever. And I usually just do the same thing because typically I go to the doctor and they're like, oh, just do this, this. So I just started off with that. However, here I am three weeks later and nothing's getting better. So I might end up having to go. Okay, so I have my masking down. <coughs> All right, let me get this last one done so you guys can be finished listening to me hack. So I'm going to add, I have Daffodil Delight. And if you find that it's not dark enough, you can always do this too with your reinker. but that's plenty dark. And I'm going to add Mango Melody. I'm going to save the Poppy Parade for last since I don't really want to get these colors mixed up. All right, so I'm not putting this one on yet, but I have plenty of glycerin left. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to dip and then yellow. Okay.
Okay, mango. It's also important to note, depending which way your post-its go, you kind of want to go that way so you don't rip them back by accident. So if I laid my post-its over top of each other this way, I'd go that way. Okay, wipe this off. And I'm just going to add a little of the Poppy Parade. I'll put a little bit more of this. This is cool. Just a little bit on the edge, not a whole lot. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this off. So I just use I just use the same block for all of them. We did use multiple sponges. Alrighty, let's see. I don't really have anything super Valentine-y, which was the other one, but I'm gonna put these little guys on here. So this is from Wood Words. Come on. And I think I'm gonna use this. And again, I'm gonna take my Poppy Parade and I'm just gonna take, nope, that's not the right one. Let me find a clean one. I'm just going to take a clean sponge, pick up a little bit of ink, and just put it on. This looks really cool. <coughs> do one more. I'm going to do one more, kind of like just bring a little piece in at the bottom. Okay. Just like that. Let me close all these up. And <laughs> you get six. Wow. I am frugal too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not not judging the frugality at, at any point because I'm definitely like that. But I might have to try that next time. All right. I'm going to put all my sponges in this so I don't wreck my cards clean these up later clean this dude off okay all right so now what we are going to do is we're going to just add and I'm going to add these in black <coughs> so I'm going to add a sentiment to it but I'm going to add it either in black or maybe even early espresso we'll see but I want to pull these off and put this up. Let's have a little more room. And I'm going to put these away real quick just so I don't have too much stuff in the way. Oh, it wasn't close. All right. So what... What did I do with my pink one? Oh my gosh. Oh, pink was face down on the carpet. Luckily, it was dry. That would have been a disaster. <coughs> so I'm going to grab my dark flirty flamingo. I don't know if that'll be dark enough or not, but we'll see. My dark poppy parade and my light knight of navy. Yeah, we'll see if this works. Okay, so if you see, I line the edge right here just with the Stampin' Blend. So I'm going to peel this off. This is the first one we did. Yeah, so it went underneath a little bit on that post-it. So, <clears throat> worst case, we can always trim it down. Post-it tape, you can reuse a little bit too, so. That's the cool part about that. So kind of bled just a little bit at the edge there. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> just going to trim it down just a smidge on each end. Okay. 
And this one might have to go a little bit more. There you go. So still not bad. So this ends up being almost five. I'm going to trim it just so it's five. Nah, that's a little too much. Never mind. We'll leave it like it is. Let me peel this off in case I have to do a little surgery. Mm. Post a tape winning. <laughs> Except for the fact that it's wet and I just touched it. So I ruined it. That was my own fault. And here it was a little bit unwide. So we have to tr trim this off just a little bit. But otherwise it's okay. Make sure my fingers are clean for this next one. I'm going to grab a baby wipe so I can attempt to not ruin any more. Okay, so this one might be a little more bleedy, though, because we saw what the post-its did. Actually, this one's pretty good. I must have done a good job of taping on this one. Oh, that looks nice. That's not bad at all. We just had that other little smudgy up there, but not bad. Okay, so now... We're going to do our lines. So once again, just grab, if you have a T ruler, it just makes it so it kind of lines up and it hugs the edge a little bit better, but you don't have to have that. And also, if the first time you do it, it doesn't really line up exactly well, just make another line. So I'm using the pointier tip. I'm gonna start over here on this one. I'm kind of just gonna cover up that pencil line, but if I need to, I can go over a little bit more. So there's that. You could also erase your pencil line if you just wanted to do that. That's also good. You could omit the pencil line altogether and just go free with your post-it tape. So there's one. This is from this little goof here. Looks pretty good. Then, hmm. I'm going to go with a darker color. <clears throat> I'm going to go with, ooh, that's real red. I don't want that. Lovely lipstick. I'm going to go with dark, lovely lipstick. And this one's going to have to be trimmed on the side anyway because it bled. There's one. I'm going to just go over twice just for the heck of it. You could also, if you're really concerned about the border, you could also do it in like a black, dark gray. You could probably use your stamp and Rate markers as well if you wanted to. Now we're going to do the blue. And I think the cool thing about these two is that they have all different widths. So that makes it fun because it doesn't have to be... Um, a thin line. It could be anything, really. Okay, there's one. And... I'm going to go over a little bit more because this one bled out slightly. There you go. Okay. So, simple. And then all we're going to do is I'm going to take all four of these and move this over. And I'm just going to add a sentiment. So I'm going to use my Memento or possibly Early Espresso. These are cute too. For you. And thanks. And hello. And I could even use any of these. You could have used this to add like a little something to there as well. Lots of choices. Oh, this is a nice one. I like this one. I love this mermaid set, but I'm going to put that on one. Because I think that's the nicest thing. Especially if you have a young, not even a young child, a younger child that maybe has a lot of influence from people older than them, meaning teenagers or tweens or whatever you want to call them just gives a little little inspiration so I'm going to do thanks 
for this one. And I put it up a little bit because I might trim that bottom off. And let's see. It's very difficult these days, I, I feel like, being a kid. I think it's just the social media. I certainly wouldn't want to be a kid these days. Because all the stuff that I did that was not smart. Goodness, being all over the internet. Ugh. This one I'm just going to add hello. Cute. Okay, and I'm going to put that, and I'll never stop believing you. I know it's going to be a little big, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because it kind of goes with that beachy theme. And then, I'm going to pop these bad boys together. Let me make sure this looks straight. Yep. Hmm. I just want to add it up here. I'm going to try up here. Do something different. We'll see. We'll see if we like it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for filling them in. All those who are filling in for me, not being able to speak. I appreciate it. <laughs> My narrators and commentators, thank you all so very much for showing up every week. I really appreciate you. And I know I said I was going to do espresso, but I went with black on all of them. So... All we have to do now is mount them. So I'm going to just, I'm going to mount all of them and I'm going to put them on a coordinating color, but you know what? I'm going to trim this one up real quick because this little pink thing down here is driving me crazy. Oop. And I know I, I do have pink splotches on this, so yeah, what are you going to do? That's okay. It still looks cute. All right, so let's see. What do I have? This. That'll look nice on that. So I do need to trim this up a little bit anyway, because clearly these aren't trimmed down the way I thought they were. My assistant is going to be hearing from me, I'll tell you that. If you all know who my assistant is me and she's gonna get an earful I'm gonna go with I think Blackberry Bliss for this one yeah I think that looks really cool and I think I'm going to I'm really uh, been using a lot of this lovely lipstick lately I love it so even though I have a little smudge on here I'm gonna mount that one anyway and somehow I'll figure out a way to cover it up. I could put some ribbon or something on there. Okay, so once more, grab my trimmer. So was this? This for my oh, well, you know why? Because this isn't a regular piece of cardstock. Never mind. I must have used that for something and cut it down because it's not a full a regular size piece. That explains it. So I've really been um, on this one sheet wonder cook hook kick lately, if you guys haven't noticed. But man, you can make a lot of cards with them. Turning out super cool. So simple. Just simple. Simple, simple card. I'm going to put... I'm going to flip this down just so I don't smudge anything and I do want to make sure I get adhesive all the way to the edge because with that blending sometimes it does make the card a little bendy so very simple simple card you could always if you wanted to you could uh, hit it with a little bit of shimmer let's see where's my I'm gonna put this here I hit the whole front of it. <coughs> Since this is alcohol, it will dry quickly, but it'll give like a little shimmer to the whole entire card. Makes it look like that shimmer paper. So, cool. There's one. Let's 
see. This one. Oh, is this one even scored? Nope. I don't know if you guys <clears throat> watch Grace and Frankie, but I just finished binge watching the new season of it. That is a show on Netflix with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, who I love. So, so funny. So there are two. Simple. It was really, really funny. But it's funny because they really are great at doing cliffhangers. Just watch the end of the season. I'm not going to tell anybody anything, but it was really good. Super, super cool. One person I miss seeing that I haven't seen as much of lately, we saw her for like a lot recently, is Betty White. I don't know what happened to her. She was like super popular doing everything and I hope she's doing well. I love Betty White. I was watching the Golden Girls the other night. There you go. Reminds me of my grandparents. It reminds me of growing up and being with my grandparents. So that's why I love the Golden Girls. Such a hoot. Rose won the Woman of the Year Award. So she was going back to St. Olaf to collect. Which I never really realized was actually a real place. So how naive am I? So this I have to fix. I have to cover this up with something. So for this one, I'm going to add something to it. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what. So, like, what kind of ribbon would be wide enough? What's going to blend that's going to be, like, pretty enough? Or something that would go with it? I kind of could do that. This was in. This is a, uh, a dual pack of ribbon. It's shaded spruce and petal pink. And I cannot remember what the pack is called, but you get both of these in the pack. I know it's still current. I just don't know what it is. That would be pretty, but I don't know. I'm wondering if this would be nice just with like a little faux bow cover. Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's do that. We'll do a faux bow. She is. She's, I think she's at least like 95. I mean, she is definitely is up there, which I think is even more funny when you think back about now how they were supposed to be so old. And really, they weren't even that old when they made the Golden Girls, which is amazing. So funny. So I'm going to tie just a fake, a faux, a fake knot, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to kind of put it a little bit to the side so it kind of covers. So what I'm aiming for is covering the smudges, but also distracting from them. So I'm going to put my knot over here, if that makes sense. So I am going to put just a little bit uh, let me see. Let me make sure I have this the right way. A little bit of adhesive here. That way I can kind of put that exactly where I want it. <coughs> okay, so I'm kind of just trying to cover, cover that splotchy area. But without making this too tight. There we go. So what I did was I put a little adhesive on the back of this. That way I could make sure I covered it up. And then I'm going to wrap this around. And I'll put the adhesive here. And you can certainly trim this down. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'll make sure that this kind of slightly lines up. So usually what I'll do is I'll bring it around from the front. Kind of make sure I like it. And then wrap it to the back. Yeah. Hold on, this one a little goofy. God, oh, Lord have mercy. Come on, Rachel. Get it together. Okay, and then I'm going to just... Oh, for goodness sake. You know why? Because I put my tape too low. I'm going to trim this off. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, now nah, I'm not going to use dimensional, so I'm going to just glue it straight down. So make sure, that way you don't have to cover yours up. It does look cute, don't get me wrong, but I kind of like it better with it being plain. Make sure your fingers are clean when you take your tape off. That way you don't have to go trimming. You have to do surgery like I just did. There we go. And I'm going to just stick a little glue dot under this little piece here. 
just to make sure that piece stays where I want it. I have a feeling it's going to kind of wiggle around a little bit. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. There we go. I'm sure if you haven't already, you can totally tell I was raised by old er people. <laughs> Which is why I love my grandparents so much and I say the most ridiculous things probably on here, but... <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne. Suzanne gave me the catalog number for that. Thank you very much. Probably could use another glue dot there. But anyway, we're going to stop. Stop while I'm ahead. Okay. So, brand new host code. So, this will be like the January to February host codes. So if you have any orders, feel free to use that. If your order's over $100, don't use it because you'll get all these stamping rewards. Um, the stamping rewards are basically, what I do is, with stamping rewards, I am the host and therefore I collect the rewards and then that's kind of how I buy all the stuff that I give away to you guys like the ribbon and all the embellishments and like the when we do have an order I will give away um like the little faceted dots that's with the $50 order so basically that's kind of how I can get those items to be able to get away to you so I think these turned out cute this again was the one I did last night this was Highland Heather Gorgeous Grape and Blackberry Bliss for the blue we use Balmy Blue Pacific Point and Blueberry Bushel. I like this one. I think it looks the coolest. I think because it's wide as well. And it doesn't have any smudges. But I really like this one. I like this too. And if I wouldn't have ruined it, I probably would like it more. But I love this one. This one was using Daffodil Delight, um, Mango Melody, and Poppy Parade. Very sunset-esque. And then this one was Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, and Lovely Lipstick. I think they all look really cute. And then it's just a very simple sentiment. So one layer. The other thing, just to, just to tell you this before I let you go. The other thing you could do if you're super careful is you don't even have to have the panel. Just do this on Thick Whisper White. Make sure you're really good with your masking. So take your time with your masking. So what I would do, if I were doing this, I'll just show you real quick. And this is just a little skinny piece, so I'm going to show you on that. Is I would take my piece of cardstock score it in half okay fold it in half make sure your fingers are really clean so I would score it make sure it's nice and flat I would get myself some thick post-it tape or you could use this too which I've used this before you could use frog tape this would work oh, if I can get it open equally as well. You take your frog tape. So say you already drew your lines and everything, or if you didn't and you don't want to do your lines, you could just kind of line it up, tape it down to your board on both sides, do all your stuff, let it dry. The one thing you want to keep in mind when you're pulling off any tape, no matter what it is, Pretty much except for post-its because they don't have really super much sticky. Is when you peel, just peel it back onto itself. Because sometimes this can have a tendency, as you can see, to pull the edge of your paper. Do you see that white line there? You can kind of see it on there. So you do want to make sure that you pull it to itself. Other thing you could do too is you could kind of touch it a little bit. Get a slight bit of the tack off before you put it down and then just lay it down but more so you really are worried about your line here on the paper not really where the rest of this is just again keep your hands clean and then when you're done so you would peel this off and then you would have your card already you could just stamp your little greeting down at the bottom and then you'd have a one layer card but I would do it on thick whisper white because it's definitely much sturdier it's more like the actual cardstock versus the whisper white so that's another <laughs> hey my fingers are never clean either but when you're touching the white stuff you got to kind of get them a little bit clean at least anyway right so this would be a great way to do it if you just wanted to do a base card with a little bit of stuff on there instead of layering onto something however if you do decide to do it this way kind of gives you a little bit of margin of error in case you goof something up you can trim it down and put it onto a uh, coordinating background piece another fun thing to do 
And what you would look really, really cool is if you laid it onto black because it'll really make the colors pop out. So it will definitely accentuate the black and it will make everything like really very, very, very uh, bright in the popping of the color against the black. I like doing that as well. So could have put a heart on the pink. That, that was a good idea, but I, I have so many smudges. I would need a whole row of hearts, but that was a good idea. <laughs> Definitely. So again, just as a reminder, if you did not go over to the One Sheet Wonder for Valentine's Day, hop over there, leave a comment, and then next week I will draw a winner of the DSP because there were no comments on there. So head over there and leave a comment. Um, if you missed it, I did announce the winners of yesterday's Facebook Leave a Comment Challenge. So there were three people. And if you go back to the beginning, you can watch it. If they're your friends, make sure you tag them so they can claim their prize. You just have to go to fill out the prize claim form, which is on my blog, racethestamper.com. You could sponge the edges, absolutely. Only thing is, though, if you sponge, you're kind of missing that crisp white part. So you could, absolutely, in saving the card. But quite honestly, this one doesn't look as bad with the ribbon. I think the ribbon is a little crooky. I probably have to put another glue dot up here on the top, too. Which I'm just going to do now, and then I'll call it a wrap. If you guys have any questions though, all you have to do is send me an email at rachelthestamper at gmail.com. Hopefully by next week, this massively annoying cough will be gone. Can't make any promises though. But thank you guys as always for joining me and I will see you next Wednesday. Have a great day.